Hurricane Milton is making its way quickly approaching Florida. People are still recovering from Hurricane Helene, which made landfall not even two weeks ago. So our Marissa Thomas talked to one person in Florida who is making their way back north. Marissa, what did you learn tonight? Good evening, Mike. Amy Schroeder went down to Florida a few days ago for work. Now is driving back north. She says she has a sense is a sense of anxiety as people prepare for Hurricane Milton while still in recovery mode from Helene. Hurricane Milton speeds toward the coast of Florida. Over 50 counties are under evacuation orders and traffic heading north is heavy. Amy Schroeder was in Florida for work and she explains how the traffic made her drive back longer. Headed back to headed back north, you know, today, but, um, you know, we're supposed to head out early this morning, uh, which ended up taking us from two hours to where we were supposed to be to about six hours. We're just now leaving Ocala, headed back north. So the traffic is definitely in full swing, heavy bloom, um, 75, 95 are both horrible. Schroeder says getting gas is an obstacle from finding it to waiting for it. Grocery stores are unbelievable, gas stations. I think we went to four or five gas stations before we were actually able to get gas. It's, it's scarce down there right now, and the ones that you do find are quite a while. There's quite a wait to, to get to the pump, so... We gassed up and we were out. Schroeder says she felt that people were frantic as they prepared while still dealing with the damage left behind by Helene. They, uh, I think there is a little bit of panic down there, but um, I just hope everybody does the right thing and stays safe, you know? Hurricane Milton is expected to make landfall on Wednesday, heavily affecting people on Florida's west coast. We will continue to bring you coverage on Hurricane Milton throughout the week right here on Erie News Now. Live in the studio, I'm Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.